Hey everybody and welcome back to another Kraken Packs video. I am your host, Mr. Bevers. We're back again with another quickie of dissension. Let's get right into it. Again, this was another set that I didn't really get a chance to play a lot of. Um, I sort of got out around the Ravnica block era, um, which was right around this time, the original Ravnica block. I played a bit in, you know, 8th edition, 9th edition, and then sort of got out of the game a little bit. Um... Anyway, uh, in the commons we're looking for Utopia Sprawl and Psychotic Fury, as well as Az this Azorius Signet and the Rakdos Signet. All of those are over about a dollar a piece. And we're just going to kind of look at the art and take a look at the... Oh man, look at that goblin. Man. Plumes of Peace. Soul Sworn Jury, Vision Skines or Skeens, ah, the Coiling Oracle. So none of the commons. A couple of the signets were in there, but not the sig signets we were looking for. So now we're into the uncommons, and in the uncommons we've got a couple as well, which is um, uh, Mage Rite Stone, Ghost Quarter, Spell Snare. Those are the three that are over a dollar. So Simic Basilisk with Graft 3. Jagged Puppet, Mistral Charger, and our rare is a Wit's End. Target player discards his or her hand for seven mana. Not so much, right? Not so much. We need to, like, turn our volume down there on the phone. Well, maybe you like having the volume. I don't know. But I don't particularly like having the volume. But that's just me. So we've got a Verdant Eidolon. Assault. Zep uh, Zeppelid. There's the Psychotic Fury. There you go. So two mana instant. Worth about a buck forty. Buck fifty. Not too bad. Demon's Jester. Ah, the Helium Squirter. Cynic Growth Chamber. The good old Bounce Lands. Another vision skeins or skines or whoever. Coiling Oracle again. Whiptail Moloch. Thrive. Uh, Hazda Exonerator. And that's our last common. So now on to the uncommons. Brain Pry, which looks absolutely atrocious. Remember, we talked about this in one of the previous videos. Whatever, whatever's going on up here is bad news bears. That's all I have to say. Fertile Imagination. Sky Hussar, or Hussar, or however. And our rare? Ooh, the Rat Catcher. Didn't the Rat Catcher see a reprint? I feel like it did. I think it saw a reprint in one of the Master sets? Yeah, Master's 25. There it is. So obviously, that's the wrong edition. Um, don't know if that's going to change its price at all, really. Wow, look at that. So the original is $1.10. According to TCG, right? Because that's what the app I'm using. And the one from 25 is only 37 cents. People pay for that nostalgia, you know? It's a thing. I know it's probably better than most. <laughs> Simic Raid Ragworm. Entrophic Eidolon. Cackling Flames. There's the Rakdos Signet. That's about over a dollar. See what it says. There you go. $1.38. Aura Eidolon, Azorius Chancery, Beacon Hawk, Overrule. Man, look at some interesting art on that one for sure. Utvara Scalper, Plumes of Peace, Soul Sworn Jury, and we're into the uncommons. So the commons, we're going to see quite a few of, this, of duplicates because it's only a 180 card set. We got the Simic Guild Mage. We got... Drekavak. It's a mean looking thing, isn't it? And uh, Patagia Viper. Pa Pat Patag Patagia. Pat Patagia. I don't know how you want to pronounce it. Patagia 
Viper. And our rare is a Proclamation of Rebirth. It's a pretty crazy rare right there. Look at that. Seven bucks as well. So three mana, sorcery, two and a white. It says return up to three target creature cards with converted mana cost one or less from your graveyard to play. And you can forecast it, which means you can pay six, reveal Proclamation of Rebirth from your hand, return target creature card with converted mana cost one or less from your graveyard to play. Wow. No wonder it's seven dollars. Because you can just keep forecasting it from your hand. Yeah, you can only do it during your upkeep, and you can only do it once each turn. But like essentially just a recursion of a one drop from your graveyard every every turn is pretty good, I would think. Well, anyway, there you go, everybody. Um, so that's our little quickie of dissension for this week. I've been your host, Mr. Rivers. I hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, may your pulls ever be better.